all right good evening youtube traders today 25th of august 2021 8 30 pm indian standard time a quick look at how did the markets play out today and what can we expect tomorrow keeping in mind that we have the derivatives expiring now with today's flattish move uh, my right hand side chart is that of uh, nifty daily and on my left hand side i have the the weekly now taking a look at the daily chart we have a small bodied candlestick which is somewhat like a spinning top it did test a new life high as uh, we were anticipating in our yesterday's take but uh, it kind of failed to hold on to these highs thanks to bank nifty and few banking counters if you allow me to change this daily chart into a line chart you can very clearly observe that uh, there is a formation of a price and momentum divergence now these divergences are not necessarily signs of reversal they can be signs of consolidation having said this um, the underlying trend of the index has been up strong resilient and keeping in mind we have the expiry tomorrow i sense that the index will try and push itself further up towards that 16700 mark and probably use the expiry for a short term top to form a short term top so stay bullish but i sense that um, we should add a dash of cautiousness to this uh, i say this primarily because of the underperformance that uh, especially bank nifty has shown in today's trade we should not forget that bank nifty and the banking stocks add up a lot of weightage to our markets this is the nse indices and we can very clearly see it has been a completely divided market with the energy small cap and it uh, leading with some positive gains followed by fmcg and metals and on the downside real estate media financials uh, pharmaceutical bank nifty auto are the ones uh, which dragged the index down uh, amongst these sectors which dragged the index down it is primarily the banking the bank nifty and large cap banks uh, which disappointed the most uh, slipping significantly from its intraday highs energy primarily uh, on the on the back of reliance industries gaining more than one percent um, if we recall we did talk about that stock in our yesterday's uh, market wrap looks good i think reliance has the potential to um, sustain its uh, rally and probably support the index further for the rest of this week but it's definitely a divided market taking a, a look at the bank nifty you can see uh, on the daily time frame how this is the 75 just allow me to change this to daily there you go on the daily time frame how it slipped from its intraday highs and actually closed marginally negative underperformance clearly uh, from the sector it is essentially um, buying time um, consolidating if you can see the weekly charts in a very wide range and it needs a big breakout above that 36300 mark on the upside eventually definitely we are likely to get that breakout but um, whether it's going to come anytime soon or not i think it will be very difficult for us uh, to come to a conclusion on that on the upside the index has got some decent resistances sorry for that yeah so the index has some decent resistances up here which it needs to deal with um, 36000 of course is an important psychological level going to the uh, top stocks we can very clearly see over here also it's been fairly divided with tata motors tcs and reliance gaining the most followed by infosys and dustan unilever and on the downside we've got bharti airtel maruti tata steel larsen i bank sbi kotak bank one after the other the banks which languished in today's trade um, nothing much to take away from today's price behavior apart from the fact that psychologically the index did hit a new life high number two it could not manage to sustain to its new life high that is primarily because of the underperformance from um, primarily the banking stocks also not to forget that it's, it has been a completely divided market amongst the top stocks as well as the sectors there is a price momentum divergence shaping up 
on the index so having uh, you know put all these uh, pointers together um, we should maintain a bullish bias but we should be cautious uh, expiry tomorrow should definitely lead to some degree of volatility so i would suggest trade carefully amongst the banking stocks one stock which um, has eased off in terms of its daily range is kotak bank it's creating a bit of positive divergence big underperforming counter um, as you as we can clearly see from our relative strength indicator down here but uh, it's probably shaping up for a short term bounce back so short term traders uh, essentially time frame of 1 to 2 days can start eyeing kotak bank for a prospective bounce sometime soon um let's see what's in store for us tomorrow during the derivatives expiry um and then for the rest of the week but i sense also keeping in my in mind how the global markets are playing out especially uh, the dow jones industrial index i sense that this week the markets will consolidate itself and probably try and top out sometime early next let's see what's in store for us till then for tomorrow trade well